stop is going to be Traver and Kiefer McNaughton are going to go toe to toe. 750 left here in the opening period. Couple of hard rights for both guys. McNaughton gets Traver on the chin. Now Traver comes back. McNaughton goes down, hits his head. Not sure if he put it off the ice or he's just protecting himself. Looks like he was just protecting himself. But a good tilt between McNaughton and Traver as both will go off for fighting here. Yeah, as soon as that puck dropped, the gloves came off. I want to say the helmets did, but it didn't. It got popped off. You can't do that. You know, the original tag, you want to tag the first punch. It was McNaughton, but Traver did a pretty good job late in that fight. He gets rocked a little bit, and then he just keeps throwing, and he kind of ragdolls him a little bit, throws McNaughton to the ice. Well, I'm not, Keeper McNaughton's gone to the dressing room. I'm not sure why, because there is 750. Uh, left here in the open. The Giants will pick it off. Franson out of the center. Up now to Buse. Buse with Swartz on that shot there. Club down. Rebound. Score. Stop. Score. Patient with this puck. Gives it up now for Buse. Franson falls down. Penalty coming up here. They're going to call a slash and they're going to call an unsportsmanlike. How do you call that as a dive against Franson? Wow. Unbelievable call. Folks, as, as Dan Elliott proposes that question to you, I'm here to tell you, everybody listening is going to have to see this to figure it out themselves. How does Franson get called for unsportsmanlike? Obviously, I'm going to tell you, that's called embellishing the call. Well, exactly. Right? And he was tripped. So we saw in the middle. Now Gallagher, top of the left circle, moves in. His shot stops. Rebound, Manning! Score! A power play marker for the Manning to the Giants. And they make it a 2 nothing game. <laughs> Just a wonderful job of stretching the ice east-west in the offensive zone. Vancouver on the power play, so confident now in moving that puck side to side. What that does, it always stretches the, the coverage of your penalty kill. Neil Manning does a good job of moving it east-west and then sneaking down. On comes Gallagher with under 20 seconds left. Henry now in the corner, up front! Gallagher shot stopped by Hamilton. Rebound, make it stop, another shot stopped by Hamilton. Well, he should come out right at the 18-minute mark, but the fact of the matter is there's another 15 seconds. Francis down the left side, cuts in front, stop, rebound, score! And the Vancouver Giants, doesn't matter, that man can call the box right now. I believe it'll be Dalton Ford with his second. <laughs> here, 3-0. You know, Dan, Dalton Ford opened the scoring by going hard to the net down Main Street. Credit Kane Franson. He goes hard down that left wing, and I think it was Hamshide that turned the wrong way. And that exactly was the only thing that Kane Franson needed to take it to the net. Who's coming in for the rebound off that right wing? Crashing hard to the net. But 21 there. Austin Carroll, two minutes for a hit to the head. Yeah, that's Time of the penalty, 344. Carroll, two minutes for a hit to the head at 344. Gives it to Musil, came in to pick it off his stick. Now Musil behind the net, trying to kick it around to Franson. Still with control is Musil. Back to the river to top of the right circle. Moves in, can't get a shot off. Really does now. Rebound score. There's the confidence from Merrick Perlini. Losing him for a second. Gets it right back. Beats Hamilton. I'm not sure, Dan, but I do think that might have been Kane Franson feeding him the puck. Merrick Burden, his eyes almost bulged out of his head when he saw that he had that much room to go to. He headed right to the front of the net. And you know, at 6-2, a power forward handling that puck in that zone, Dan, it's hard for guys to take it off of. And he's got the strong arms. 
and he maintained possession. It wasn't easy, but he maintained possession, got that puck behind him. Over the line, left side. Gallagher on the hash mark. Back to the point to Verdon. Moves in. Over to Manning. One-timer. Scores! What a shot from Neil Manning. Pop shelf. Another power play marker. Third of the night. And the Giants add to their lead, make it 5 nothing. <laughs> Pretty simple. Oh, left face off circle. I think it's Gallagher. Top of the slot area, Burton. In the right face off dot, Neil Manning. He's got a lot of confidence moving into that spot. His second goal of the night, second power play goal, his fourth of the season. Wow. A ripper. That's where he goes. Boards now to convert it, convert it. With Henry going to the net, convert it. Move to the slot. Trying to get a shot off. He will score. Merrick converted adds to his point total. Second goal of the night, fourth point of the evening. The Giants go up 6 nothing. It is really incredible how comfortable Merrick Verdon looks with that puck in the offensive zone. I mean, he's got the patience of Job. The one goal he scored, he knifed through people, hung on to it. This one here, I mean, it felt like he waited an eternity cutting through the slot area. For help, he will. Help, into the high spot. Moved in there for Manning. Moved in, shot, score! Neil Manning, his start of the night, picks up the hat to another power play goal, and the Giants go up 7 nothing. What is he on? Neil Manning! And he's got all of them in exactly the same spot. He's a left-hand shot. He gets down low to the left side of the goaltender. Does a terrific job of handling that puck in a neat little move. Jams the pass. Grafton, unbelievable. What Neil Manning has done here tonight in terms of his ability to score. And it's a 7-0 lead. He's in the play. And third of the night. Scored by the one Neil Manning. Goal scored on the power play. The assist to number 27, Jackson Hout, and to number 7, Matt Bellary. Very high Tied of the goal, 14-56. The Giants continue on the power play here. Manning the left side. is fourth of the season the on the power play from Hout and Bellary at 14-56. Oh, Taylor Bacon scores his first career goal. You know, the goals are all coming from what we call the dirty areas. They're all in the paint. This is Musil shooting. That puck is picked up by Ass, and he finds Macon right in the paint area with a neat little redirect. They are the hard-earned kind of goals. They're not bullet shots from the top of the face-off circle. They're stuff for Tipped it to Gallagher. Back to Vernon. Now Gallagher going to the net. 2 one possibility. To Vernon to Gallagher. Scores. Yes. Puck is in the net. A late goal to that was knocked off. But Brendan Gallagher gets his first of the night. And the Giants score. <laughs> to go to the net. In that situation there, the way Gallagher did, you pretty much got to be fearless. There is absolutely no way you can get much closer to the net than Gallagher did there. The key was he threw the brakes on, but he knew that if there was any contact on him, he was gonna, he was going to crash into the net, post and all. He threw the and he will send it far side now for Francis. Going to the net is Hope. Francis toe drag in the slot scores. Team Francis top shelf on Rafton and make it a 10 spot. The Giants go up 10 nothing. Don't even know what to say anymore, Bill, as the Giants continue to add to their lead, whether it's the top line, the fourth line, the young guns, everybody getting involved. This time it's Team Francis. Yeah, sometimes you just want to let the crowd carry it. That's a 10. They're enjoying this thing immensely. You know, Jackson Hall going to the net. From the point from the Royals, misses the net. 
Now Kanzig will keep it in. Gets it to Jones. Jones down low. He goes to Hodges. Trying to get it back out front. Off a stick. Traver slapper. Stop. Rebound. Scores. Stephen Hodges buries that one. And the Royals break the shadow bid of Adam Morrison. Get the goal with 12.08 remaining here in the third and make it a 10-1 game. Yeah, good job by the Victoria Royals to move in with a good hard shot. I believe that was Traver with a shot. And boy, when you're standing there and that rebound literally falls at your stick as it does there in the case of Steve Hodges. Make no mistake about it. A little lapse of coverage and that puck ends up in the back of the net. And you know, credit goes for since night's over. Jackson Whistle in between the pipes is Morrison gave up one goal and just 12 shots. Shot there, stopped by Whistle, takes it off the chest. Giants can't clear. Crooks throws it in front off a of skate, and it beats Whistle, and Jamie Crooks gets the second of the night, and I think that went off the uh, defender in front skate. Well, I know it went off somebody's skate, and it could have been uh, Keith from McNaughton in front. Jackson Whistle, not much he could do there. No, exactly right. He made a, a, a real nice save prior to this. You looked on the screen, and it's Fenske's got his man covered in front of the net. That's a pretty good job on Lucas Kralik. He was never going to get to this puck. The save, the rebound, and again, Crook's absolute desperation. Credit him for throwing it back into the paint area and hope like he can get a rebound off something. It did. It's in the back. Puck comes back to the point here in the Royal Zone. Fetsky shot stop. Rebound scores. Dalton scores. Gets his first career WHL hat trick. And the Vancouver Giants go up 11-2 as Levi Buse goes and collects that puck for his line mate. Man, he's going to get it in. Dalton scored with the hat trick. Opened the scoring tonight when he went right down Main Street trying to get to a puck. His second goal tonight came as he went around. Uh, Franson went around the defenseman and Swart crashed in off that right wing. Now there's a rebound lane in the paint area. Uh, just in the high. Giants leading the Victoria Royals 11-2. Logan Nelson in alone on whistle. Backhand scores. Logan Nelson picked the pocket of West Van Uenhausen at the Giants line. And he went in on a breakaway and went forehand, backhand on whistle to get the third goal tonight here for the Royals. Well, Dan, there is no question that you can see the skill of this uh, Victoria Hockey Club. I mean, Hodges with a goal in this period, Crooks with a goal, Nelson, really good move, walking in, as you say, picking the pocket, a lot of patience, goes forehand, backhand, stretches Jackson Whistle from one side to the other. The only problem is they just have physically not won the races, and they have... Victoria goal is not...